Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question about Dart, the Dart programming language, and whether or not I should choose Dart over JavaScript. Now before you like say, <laughs> say no JavaScript, uh, you might be surprised by, by my answer here. But before I get into that, I wanna talk about a sponsor. The sponsor for this video, which is Hire.com. You can check them out by going to Hire.com forward slash simpleprogrammer or simpleprogrammer. And why should you choose Hired? Well, because I don't know if about you, but I don't like the whole process of sending out a bunch of resumes to a bunch of companies, never hearing back from them, all this kind of back and forth, and it's, it's a big pain with the job search. So imagine a place where you could put all your information to one application, and it's gonna be vetted. You know, maybe you're not gonna get through the vetting, but if you do, then imagine suddenly being having having your information accessible to a whole bunch of top high paying employers, which will find you and they will send you interview requests. This is such a logical, simple process. It makes so much sense to me. That's why I was so happy to have hired as a sponsor and I continue to promote them because I like what they're doing. They're helping software developers, they're making things Simple, that's what I like to do. So go to hire.com for trust simple programmer. If you use that link, you will get $2,000 for a hiring bonus if you get a job to them instead of 1,000, which is a pretty damn good deal. All right, let's talk about Dart and JavaScript. All right, here, so this is from Napoleon. Napoleon says, I've heard that Google is is taking on JavaScript with their new language, Dart. It claims to have 3.5 times faster development speed than JavaScript. So my question is, is Dart a more viable option than JavaScript? Would like to know your opinion about that. So, and he had some additional info. He said, I've just started learning JavaScript, react.js, so I don't know if I should continue and then move on to Dart or just switch to learning Dart. All right, so I know some of you are already just thinking, JavaScript, no, Dart is crap, why would you use Dart? But, but, and, and, I'll, and I'll be honest here, okay? So I've got some different ponies in the, in the, in the game, in the race here. Uh, I love React.js, I think it's pretty damn awesome. I'm trying to think, I did, uh, did an interview I can't remember what it was, but I looked into this. I actually did a book review, I think, because someone had written a book and they asked me to write a foreword for their book on, on React.js. Ah, that's what it was. So I, I got to see when that book comes out. But that was that was pretty awesome, like going into React.js. Pretty cool stuff, okay? Even even though I have had a history of not liking JavaScript so much, <laughs> as some of you know. I'm still not the biggest fan of JavaScript, I'll be honest, okay? So, so that's, where, that's where I'm kind of standing. And when I used Dart, it was pretty awesome. You know, at that, at that time when Dart first came out, it was like, oh wow, <laughs> this is just gonna get destroyed. Like, there's no one's gonna use this, and you know, it's just, it's too late. Like, you can't replace JavaScript. But, but, I was surprised to recently find that Dart is still alive and kicking, and Google is really, promoting it and using it. In fact, the Google's biggest money maker, AdWords, is being rewritten. If it, if it, ha it had, the new version of AdWords has been rewritten in Dart. I'm not making this shit up. Go to Dart. Dart's uh, site, go to dart.com, or uh, probably not dart.com, search for Dart in Google and go to there and you will see that Google is using Dart internally for a lot of big apps. So they have not given up on Dart. They are going all in on Dart. So it, it's, there's, a, there's a question of whether, whether or not it's viable and what the future is. Uh, you know, from using Dart, from teaching a course on Dart, I found it to be really good. I felt, found like it solved a, a lot of the problems that were in JavaScript. I felt like it was a pretty good language and that the development environment was really good. I'm sure it's improved since then. And I bet it is damn fast. I bet it's faster. If Google says it's three times faster than JavaScript, I think in, the, in, in a lot of ways it probably is. I found it to be a really good and smooth development environment. I think they're talking about development speed as opposed to the actual execution speed, although that's probably gonna be pretty damn fast as well if you think about it, if Google's optimizing it in their browsers. So, as far as should you choose Dart over JavaScript or not, that's a tough one. That is honestly a tough call to make here. JavaScript is the better bet in general because JavaScript is around now, it's in high use, something like React.js, if you're, if you're learning that, you, you're, you're gonna find jobs. There's, there's gonna be plenty of places that you're gonna be able to use that. But, 
what could happen if Dart explodes, right? There's not that many people that are really Dart experts. I mean, there's, there's, I'm sure there's some out there, right? I mean, I did a course on Dart, but so there's an opportunity there. If you build a Dart blog, okay, and you start doing Dart tutorials and you, there's an opportunity there, right, to get some really good consulting. And, and maybe, you know, if you're interested in working for Google, if you became an expert in Dart, that's, they're probably gonna have a hard time finding Dart people, so that, that could be a good play. So, I guess what I would say is this, okay, you're gonna be more secure by learning JavaScript and React.js, okay? Expect the technology to change, though, a lot. But if you want the biggest potential upside or opportunity, Dart is, is probably gonna be that. It's also gonna carry a high risk. It could get eliminated and destroyed. But even if Dart disappeared, right? Are, are, is it really, like, are, is, is, are those skills not gonna be transferable? Are they gonna be completely useless? I don't think so. Um, you could also go the middle road and you could really like learn JavaScript and then learn Dart on the side and start kind of going there. I probably wouldn't go the middle road if I was gonna go all in Dart. I'd just go all in Dart and I'd try to figure out a, pro a list of prospects of places that are using Dart that I could get a job with and, and, and try to, you know, try to get using, get to the point where I'm using Dart on my, my regular uh, work day so that I'm, I'm actually getting paid to do that. But, but yeah, this is, this is a, a tough choice. You're gonna have to go, you know, with your gut. I, I don't think honestly that you could go super wrong. I think there, as long as you can find a Dart job, but it, it's up to you. I mean, what, what do you want? What, which one of these appeals most to you? And are you willing to take the risk? And what, what is your plan if Dart fails? Let's say you go down the Dart road and Dart fails and they, they basically wipe out Dart. Well, what's your backup plan? Now, you know, having enough JavaScript, maybe you could switch to that or you could switch to somewhere else, right? So I, I don't think that it's, it's that, that huge of a deal. Personally, if it were up to me, right? I would probably take the thing, if I'm early in my career, that has the biggest upside potential, right? That, that I could be riding a wave, right? I'd want to be on the, the front of the Dart wave. Now, Dart's been around for a while and it hasn't really taken off yet, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to, okay? Look at, look at Ruby. Ruby was around for a long time and it didn't take off for quite a while. I think that I think that's really the same with Python, if I, if I recall correctly. Python's been around for a while. It, it's gotten more popular, a lot more popular recently. Objective-C is another example of that. Objective-C was written way back when, right? And then when iOS came out, it suddenly became one of the top languages. So, the, you know, you, you don't know on, on some of these things. I think there's a lot of examples of that out there. All right, I hope that helps you, at least. I can't give you, you know, exact answer. I, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. I hope Dart does well. I hope that it does replace JavaScript, to be honest with you, because I feel like something needs to replace JavaScript. We need something better, a more formalized language with the less less gotchas. JavaScript, to me, feels like the C++ of, of yesteryears, right? It feels like it's, it's a little too crufty and and just eh, just too much pain and, and stuff in there. Let, let's replace it with something better, but the problem is so many people are using it. It's so ubiquitous on the web. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. So I, I would I would hope that Dart replaces JavaScript or something better comes along, but I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold my breath. <laughs> All right, if you like this video, click that subscribe button below. If you're like, man, that's an awesome shirt, where can I get a shirt like that? Click me. Talk to you next time. Take care.